Okay, to differentiate this, I'm going to start by rewriting the square root of sine of x as sine of x to the 1 half. Okay, now we notice that sine of x is the outside function. Tangent of square root of sine of x is the inside function. So first we need to find the derivative of the outside evaluated at the inside. The derivative of the outside is the derivative of sine, and that's equal to cosine. And we need to evaluate that at this inside here. Then we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside. Okay, so in the next step, we keep this first part the same, because that part has already been taken care of. We don't have any more differentiating to do on it. And now we need to differentiate this piece. Okay, we need to use the chain rule again, where this time the outside function is tangent of x, and the inside function is sine of x to the 1 half. The derivative of the outside is the derivative of tangent, which is secant squared. And we need to evaluate that at this inside function, which is sine of x to the 1 half. We need to multiply this whole quantity by the derivative of this inside. Okay, and now in our last step, we need to find out what the derivative of the square root of sine of x is. Everything else remains the same. Okay, so now for this last derivative, our outside function is x to the 1 half. So we bring down the 1 half, keep the inside, subtract 1 from the power, and multiply by the derivative of the inside. Okay, finally we're ready to, uh, to complete this because we don't need, uh, this, the derivative of sine of x is just a simple trig rule. So the derivative of sine of x is equal to cosine x, so we just multiply this by cosine x. Our last step is just to, uh, to clean this up a little bit by bringing the sine of x down to the 1 half down into the denominator and dropping the 2 down into the denominator. So we get cosine of tangent of sine of x to the 1 half times secant squared of sine of x to the 1 half times cosine of x and these two pieces get dropped down into the denominator so we have 2 times the square root of sine of x or sine of x to the positive 1 half power